woke fishing can be particularly disturbing and damaging to those on the receiving end uh, who belong to marginalized groups themselves. Hannah, 19, was in a relationship with her ex for six months. Like Tom, she thought her, her and her partner shared common ground to begin with. When we first started talking, he spoke about how awful he thought the whiteness of his education was and how he wished that the south of England, where he was from, was more diverse. But things quickly went downhill in the most extreme way possible. He was introduced me to his, friend, his home friends as his, quote, dirty Arab girlfriend and passed it off as a joke, she remembers. Um, then one day he sat me down, started crying, and told me how he used to be involved with naughty groups. But by the way, that is that is very likely. Like, let's be honest. That is very likely, like a joke, right? Like, kind of like, like you know how Rivka, uh, when we have her as uh, when we do the news, and like I'm from I'm originally from Iran, right? And she's like, uh, uh, she's like ethnically Jewish, right? And every time I do something or say something against her. <laughs> The joke is like, of course, I'm Iranian and she's like Jewish. Of course, I'm being like anti-Semitic, right? Of course, it's like, that's what I do. Like, that's what, and we joke about that. Like, come on. Like, and, and this seems like one of those kind of jokes is I think that's what it was. Yeah. Especially, yeah but if on. someone's Go on. not on the same page as you, I can see how that, and, and we don't know the full context of this incident either. Like, under certain circumstances, I would find that very shocking to just like be said about me, right? Yeah. Um, except obviously that's not my identity, but you know what I mean. Yeah. By the way, is somebody spraying something in your background, Susanna? Like, is that like? That's a bird. Let me close my oh, window. It... Okay, okay. Oh, the... uh, okay, so... okay, Vince. What's funny is that, as you said, like guys always pretend to be interested in the things that girls are because not just because they want to get laid but because they you know they're interested in them romantically that's not to say that because it is normal that they should do that but rather that i'm looking at this i'm reading this i'm like this just seems like it's an example of guys pretending to be interested in the things that the person they're trying to you know romance you know romance themselves with are interested in so then, i don't so, see so the then big Vince, just, Vince just said it's not because they want to get laid, but they they're interested in them romantically. That's what Vince just said. I said not just. I said oh, you liar, you you liar. You want to you want to say what really happened? I said <laughs> not just because that. I said not just because oh, yeah, they want to yeah. lay with them, but uh, you know, okay. also lay with they're interested them. in them. Lay with them. <laughs> they want to court them. <laughs> Oh god, Vince is like a pure. The Bible How out. old are you, Vince? Again, I think Vince. Is He's I'm too pure. To... I'm too pure. Yeah. I'm too pure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, let's continue. <laughs> I anyway, need a my, moment. <laughs> me, me, and Susanna are, uh, have a. Actually, we're on the same side on this, so we we, we were gonna have a bet on this, but we agreed. We think Vince is like virgin. Every, no, every, I know. Every, no. No. Oh really? <laughs> I was, yeah. Wait, is this a conversation that I've been, not been introduced to? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Armin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, <Armin. continue>. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. And you said this live too, Jesus. <laughs> Blame him. It's, it's all him. It's all him. Guys, guys, if there if there if anyone is interested, Vince is single, obviously. But link in the <laughs> <laughs> link in the description. But go on. Send okay continuing one day he sat me down started crying because he told me he had been involved with naughty groups he said before before he'd met me he wouldn't have wanted to marry a non-white person because he thought quote mixed race children were impure hannah broke up with him shortly afterwards this seems like a missed opportunity that this woman changed his mind and his life about a t lot of things and she yeah. didn't see that I think the key f the key word here is before or before he met me. Oh wow! So she he's like you had I was a horrible I had horrible views and you changed me and she was like okay bye bye you had horrible views that cannot be tolerated sorry bye. Like you like you she was telling that you make me a better person. How great is that? Crying. And, oh my god! Yeah. 
So the, such a who's the intolerant person here? Hannah, you're the intolerant person here. What if like after this broke up, then he's like, you know what? I guess I guess I had a point. I was I'm right. Go, <laughs> I was right. I'm gonna go back back to the old ways. <laughs> like if if this is if I this guy not. goes back to join these groups, then Hannah, you are such a you are miss like if you're woke, if you if you're the the main thing you care about is like to to help people. I mean, you should even if you broke up with him, maybe at least like stay friends with him. Maybe like, hey, like, listen, we can still talk about this. But no, I, I bet you, he's like, yeah, no, you're too toxic for me. But go on. Um, well, I already gave my commentary on why I think that was um, an uncharitable thing to do earlier. Um, so Zara, twenty three, was woke fished too. After being in a relationship with her ex for a year, she realized that some of his views seemed really off. And in a way, they hadn't to begin with. Quote, initially, he had seemed very philosophical, artistic, and well-read. He was passionate about the environment and staunchly opposed to the likes of Jordan Peterson, Zara recalls. However, he would want... Oh, this is the article that's going to get Armin. This, this, this paragraph. Wait. This paragraph is going to get Armin. Okay. Armin is this woman's worst nightmare. Um, <laughs> however... He would want to debate every article and play devil's advocate the whole time. <laughs> he didn't accept some things are fundamental to people's identity and not up for questioning. Zara explains, pinpointing the moment when his true colors began to show. Once he tried arguing with my queer best friend that straight people were more oppressed as than gay people. Um, mm. I found the incessant need to debate exhausting and often upsetting, and he never acknowledged his own privilege. Okay, so this guy seems to be just like interested in like playing the other side. I mean, obviously that's wrong. Like straight people are not more oppressed, or not as, as oppressed, oppre and not as oppressed as gay people. Definitely not. But I would be interested in playing devil's advocate. I know how to play devil's advocate to. <laughs> to say that they are just you don't see, say just, yeah just i mean just to i mean this guy like oh he seemed well read and very you know very interested in discussion I mean, yeah and this is what people who this is what people who are familiar with the discussions on all sides do like hey this is your view let me tell you what other people would say against you to, so that we could have an interesting exchange here and she was like Oh no, that's your true color. The mask slips. The, your true colors begin to show. Yeah. I, no, like, no, again, people are able to present, you know, this is actually, this, you just missed an opportunity. This guy seemed like an awesome, um, you know, uh, you know, somebody that was honest, somebody that seemed to be able to, was open minded enough to be able to present. I mean, if, if he offended you, that means that he was doing a good job at presenting the other side for him to be believing, enough, believing uh, believable enough. So he was a very good devil's advocate. And you just don't get that because you guys are so intellectually lazy that you cannot understand that even if you don't agree with somebody, you do, you, your disagreement with them comes from a much better position than you guys because you actually can... Um, steel man them and even after steel manning them you could still say why they are wrong but you guys are just you guys do not oppose these views these you know because you understand them you guys are just tribal you just are virtue signaling your guys are just you guys are against these views not because you could explain why they're wrong but just because you think that this is a way for you to you wear your beliefs on yourself as, you know like a fashion like as a as you know, like wearing clothes just to show to the people that of your tribe that you belong there and you just pick and choose the ideas that you believe in based on what other members of your tribe believe in but when somebody actually believes um disagrees with you know agrees with your views but from a more intellectual perspective you, you don't understand it and you think like there's something wrong with them and you know and if you if they want to have an honest discussion with you about you know, with the points and counterpoints to every of these positions, you guys, because you're so unfamiliar with these types of intellectual discussions, you just, you, you just see them as probably belonging to the other side. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think um, what stood out to me, well, one, the devil's advocate thing stood out to me in this paragraph, but then what also stood up, stood out to me was not up for questioning. Yeah, everything not is up. Not up for questioning. 
Good Stephen point. Hassan, personal hero of mine, cult survivor, um, taught me how to be a better critical thinker. One of my favorite quotes from him, which is a is a northern star in my life, is anything legitimate will stand under scrutiny. Anything mm -hmm. legitimate will stand under scrutiny. What does that mean? That means that there is not a single thing in this world that should not be criticized and scrutinized. Because criticism and scrutiny will either provide you with better evidence for why that thing is true or it will reveal itself to not be true and that should that belief should be discarded both of those right. are good positive things yeah in fact the things that you want to defend that you say like oh these are so so important so we shouldn't uh, question them in fact that's the exact reason why you should question them right because the more you question them and the better you get at responding to those questions the more you will be able to defend these values that are worth defending Mm -hmm. Right. So for your own, for the sake of defending these values against the people who want to challenge them, you better question them. So you are prepared to respond to these questions. And if what they're saying that these things shouldn't be up to question because they're so obviously true, it is just an axiomatic statement that these people's rights shouldn't be questioned. OK, if it is so easily and obviously true, you should be able to easily defend it, very easily yeah. defend it against these terrible arguments that clearly. And if you want to play the game. Well, how do you know this, first of all? How do you know this is so easily true, ax you know, axiomatically true, and you know, present your reasoning? It's just obvious. It just is. Well, if you want to play that game of just feeling like it's just obvious, it just is, how about these awful races who think the other things, the different things from you, mm. for the same exact reasons? It's just obvious. Look at the way, you know, look at the way we act. It's just... It's a faith-based argument. You have to be able to defend your arguments. And if you are so scared a plain devil's advocate, something that people do in every you know, philosophy 101 critical thinking class, Jesus, you're not going to get very far with your arguments. And the fact that this isn't an article in one of the most popular websites really just goes to show you how popular that view is. Wait, Vince, I want your take really fast on the above sentence of he didn't ever acknowledge his privilege. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, uh, that's a rite of passage, right? You got to acknowledge your privilege, acknowledge your original sin. And if you don't acknowledge it, I'm going to write an article in Vice about you.